All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video to show off my easy engineered Ferdinance build. And I mainly wanted to do this because there's a lot of videos out there that, you know, have like, you know, super maxed out uh, engineered Ferdinance with, you know, grade five, everything. And, and I just wanted to, you know, kind of put this out there to show that you don't have, you don't have to unlock every single engineer and you don't have to get level five upgrades on everything to make a really, really effective build. So, uh, you can see, I, I mean, I'm only using these four engineers and I do have level five, uh, access to all, to, you know, three out of four right now, but I'm actually only using level five upgrades on these two. And the one for, from Felicity Farseer is only, uh, level five uh, frame shift drive upgrade, and that's not absolutely essential with Ferdinand's. It does make it a lot easier to get around, but it's not essential. But I'll let you look at what I've actually done with them, and then I'm gonna show you some combat highlights to show you how effective this build is. All right, so I'll give you a quick peek at what my exact uh, modifications are and uh, I'll put up on the screen what the exact ingredients were for the upgrade and the engineer that I got it from. But so the first thing I did is I've only got a level one overcharged upgrade on the power plant. As you can see, I got a really good roll on it. It took a little bit of a hit on heat efficiency, which hasn't turned out to be a problem at all in combat. I got a 10% boost on power output and even got a little bit of a boost on module integrity. So that it turned out to be a really good roll. And like I said, 10% may not seem like much for power output, but anybody who's flown a Vulture knows that, uh, you know, 10% extra in your power plant is, can make all the difference sometimes. And that's, that is, cheap easy upgrade there's no reason you know everybody ought to go get that upgrade uh, so the next thing I got is dirty drives upgrade and you can see there that I know those stats are a little bit weird to translate to but you, if you look down at the bottom of the screen there you can see the end result is my uh, top speed on the Fertilance is 358 meters per second and my boost speed is 482 and I can tell you that that's fast enough you put dump four pips into your engines and boost away that's fast enough to get away from anything in the game that I've encountered so far so that's only level three upgrade easy to get I would definitely recommend trying to get that too uh, then here's the my first level five upgrade and, you know, this isn't absolutely essential for the Fertilance, but the jump range on the Fertilance is so bad that this is definitely, definitely worth getting if you've got the resources to do it. And the most, most important upgrade for combat is this one. It's... Uh, this is only a level three upgrade. You get this from the dweller. It's a weapon focused power distributor. And I was kind of skeptical about how well this would do because you do take, you do take hits on uh, regen or capacity and recharge for uh, shields and engines, but you get a significant boost in weapons capacity and recharge rate. As you can see right there, it's 42%. Uh, I got a 42% increase on weapons capacity, which, you know, that that's probably one of the most essential upgrades for this build. I, I would definitely take the time to get that upgrade. It's only level three, and it's definitely worth having. Uh, we'll move on to optional internals. The only thing I've got upgraded here is my shield generator. Again, this is only level three because that was easy to get. So I'm gonna take it, and uh, you can see I got 
a 20% increase on my optimal strength. And also, you know, got boosts to kinetic resistance, thermal resistance, explosive resistance. The downside is regen is a lot longer, you know, especially if your shields break all the way down. But, you know, there again, we're talking about, a, you know, a 5A shield generator anyway. It takes, it's going to take forever to regenerate your shields. So, you know, if that's an issue, you probably want to use shield cells or, you know, even withdraw from combat and reboot. You know, that'll speed up your regen a lot. So, you know, again, level 3 upgrade, cheap, easy to get. No reason not to get it. And that brings us to hard points. And man, I gotta say, this one is only a level three efficient weapon upgrade. You can see I got uh, got had a really good roll for this, though. Um, you know, took a small hit on damage per second and armor piercing over there but you know my power draw significant power draw reduction uh, thermal load reduction went way down distributor draw was way down probably just about as good as you could get on those things plus i got uh you know a thermal shock weapon effect and for fighters if you if you only use this beam you know once again it's a class four beam but this thing will literally melt fighters. It is, man, it is awesome. It will, it will melt fighters before it drains the capacitor. It is totally, totally awesome. Uh, then beyond that, I've got uh, overcharged multi cannon up to level five. You can see this is probably my best roll. Uh, you know, I got a 50% increase on damage and damage per second is definitely worth having. Like I said, that's my best roll. I think this one is my worst roll. And yeah, it's 40%. It's still really effective. Man, it just chews through, chews through holes. Uh, go through the rest of these. You see that's only 43. and 44. So now we'll go out into do some bounty hunting and I'll let you see how this is in action. And, and before we get there, I just want to say up front, you know, I'm, I'm a terrible combat pilot. I don't have any skills. I'm really lazy and I mainly tank this thing. And, you know, you can see how effective it is. I mean, somebody who's a, a good pilot, I can't imagine what they can do with this thing. I mean, when I fly around in this, it, you know, I, I think to myself, this must be what God feels like when he's flying a Ferdinand, because man, it is awesome. Right, see how good these mods really are. Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. Chaff. Keep going, Chaff.
Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. Damn, couldn't have done that in my vulture. Take my shields down for here though. Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. under attack so I get some help. <laughs> Scan you, sweetheart. Yeah, you better run. Boy, Jeff. Good morning, Jeff.
Shields offline. Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. Uh, well, I think that's pretty good for my first test. Retract hard points. Stowing weapons. Yeah. Uh -huh. 